Uh, good morning YouTube. So I've been running the auto bed leveling sensor on my Type A machine Series 1 Pro 3D printer for a while now. So that's the uh, proximity sensor with the blue tip on it. Type A machines supplied a small bracket 3D printed part there. They only supplied a G-code file and this was set up for 0.2 millimeter layer height. I tried printing a replacement in ABS but I have the 0.6 millimeter nozzle in there and it just wouldn't print the fine detail and it ended up breaking off right there. So anyway this this was the original part that Type A machines supplied and I think they printed theirs in a polycarbonate plastic and it just broke off right at that thin section on both sides of the threads. What I found was one of the users on the Type A machines forum named Duncan had designed this replacement part. So it's just a beefier part. There's a lot more meat in the sides here and it's also a lot taller. It's like twi almost twice the height. He designed it to fit on the far side over there behind the fan so he made a, a replacement fan bracket so i used his part here his sensor holder and when you print this out you've got to chase the threads here with an m12 by one tap so i had to pick up one of those and then you also have to chase this hole for an m3 by 0.5 screw what I've done is made this replacement out of uh, some stainless steel I had. Just cut a piece, the height of the sensor holder there. And then I bent a 90 degree and then glued it in place. So I think that's going to be pretty solid. And I wanted to keep the sensor over here because with my setup, it's just a lot easier to reach in on this side to get to it than to reach way behind. If I didn't have this enclosure on the printer, it would probably be easier to get to on the other side. So being right-handed and having the best access to the sensor on that side, I figured it's easier to get to there. Okay, there you can see I've, I've dropped the fan out of the, the uh, bracket there. And then these are the two screws down there where the uh, sensor bracket is going to mount and then there's three holes so what i need to do is mark where these three holes are on here and then i'll drill matching holes here instead of cutting out this whole bottom piece like type a machines did i figure instead of weakening this piece here i'll just drill holes i might have to drill four more up on top here yeah so there you can see where the bracket just fell apart this time i took it apart so yeah it fell into three pieces oh let's see four pieces so you got that piece that piece this piece and then actually five pieces there there's two three four and then the main chunk of it okay youtube i think i got that uh, sorted out got my bracket to fit onto the heat sink and the way i drilled the holes i just screwed it on like that and then I took a three and a half millimeter drill bit in my drill press and just drilled down through all the holes saying oh it looks like it might have to get those two so I got two more holes I guess I have to drill okay there we go YouTube I think I got this all sorted out I had to run my m12 by one tap through this bracket several times because I wanted to get it fairly easy to spin and then I had to uh, clearance out with a triangle file, groove out a little bit so that when I tightened the screw down, it had enough clamping force to hold it. Okay, I think I got the sensor dialed in, so we're gonna run through the auto level test model here. So what it's doing now, it's checking a grid of locations across the bed and then it, it calculates a surface plane for the bed surface. Uh, 
there we go. Yeah, print it a little bit. Yeah, let me clean up the bed and then we gotta, let's see. So what I have to do is counterclockwise. So I gotta, let's go down like, a, there's about a quarter turn. And then let's see if we can go and try that again. But hey, look at that. I think we got success there. Running on all the wrong parameters, but look at that. And I think that is pretty good. So yeah, if you have any uh, comments or know anything about these sensors, if, if you know if those can that spin. very top part there, if that black part is supposed to spin on the threaded part or if that's okay, if it's not okay, what I'd probably do is run a little bit of adhesive around there so that they don't spin. If there's just wires inside of there, those wires are going to twist off and then the sensor is, is garbage at that point. Yeah, I guess I better get back to work here. So just wanted to show you the bed level sensor all updated. So I'll put any uh, follow-up videos over here on the left side and yeah, if you have any uh, feedback on on how those sensors work if they're meant to spin like that or not let me know and as always thanks for watching